Hello, people of the world, me, I'm Versus Charizard here again. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Fire Awakening, Noble's Only Run. In the last episode, we tried to get, we tried to take Emery over to the Eastern Palace, however, we were ratted out, and it turns out it was a trap. For one, and Emery decided to go back to the capital, but then we learned that Elise still fell, and Gangrel wants her to die. So, yeah. Us. Anyway, in this episode, I grind a little bit off screen, and yeah, some people are level 20. However, I'm not going to be using Mass Steals just yet. But that's alright, because there's still some people I need to level up. And if you're wondering why Doll is up at the front, I was using him as a guinea pig to level Mary Bell up. Anyway, we also have a support conversation, so let's go ahead and view that. I hope the state finds you well. As well as can be expected. If there's anything I can do to ease your burden, you will let me know, won't you? Of course. Thank you, Mary Bell. But you really need to stop exhausting yourself on my behalf. I don't deserve it. Bite your tongue! Sorry, you sheer delight! Wait, I'd gladly lay down my life for you and Lissa! Well, let's hope it never comes to that. I don't want anyone dying for my sake. But on such a day, I would be the first in line to thrust myself upon the enemy's pikes. That reminds me. I talked to some soldiers who saw you get captured by Plegia. They say that as the Plegian army approached, you went out to meet them. That you parleyed with their captain, asking them to withdraw from release. Asking, and that the honorless curs responded by taking you hostage. Tell me the truth, Mary Bell. Did you do this for me and Lissa? My thoughts protect you and Lissa from danger. That was my only goal. I know it was wrong of me to take such a drastic action without consulting you, but you must believe me when I say- Enough, Maribel. I believe you, but I need you to promise something. You must never take such a rash action again. Do you understand? Yes, but- Just do- Just as you care for me and Lissa, so do we care about you. We will never forgive ourselves if you came to, to harm for our sake. Sorry, and son. <clears throat> if you are too kind, my lord, I solemnly swear that I, I will never do such a foolish thing again. It wasn't foolish, Mary Bell. It was brave and noble. But if we don't fight as equals in this war, we have no hope of winning it. And if Lissa and I were to lose you, it would be a pain that we couldn't bear. I... well, I... It's what's happened again, my lord, I swear it! We must stand shoulder to shoulder. Divided we fall, but together we rise. And with that, let's move on to paralogue number three. A Strangled Peace. I don't know why my camera's positioning always seems off. Look, Risen. Ugh, there's a village just ahead. Come on! Help! Help! Open the gates! The dead walk the earth if you have any kindness and you open the gates! We're from Woodham up the road! You know us! Please open the Gods, no! No! They're here! Hey! Hmm. The townsfolk of this village are renowned for their hospitality. How could they turn away refugees fearing for their lives? Let's worry about saving those lives first. We can ask questions later. So, yeah, your task for this chapter, save these villagers. And it can be harder than you think, because for the most part, they're going to be idiots. They're still going to run over here. They're not going to try to stay out of any range. They're just going to walk right into it. Don't get out, you're not a royal. Okay, I want to try to level up Rick in here. Right now, that's my number one priority. You get some leveling, leveling, leveling for Deirdre too. Might be easier for her though. And I will keep suing it along just to make sure I can take care of these Pegasus Knights and make sure they don't become a problem later. I mean, anyone else could do it, but she's the only one that can get in their range fast enough. Hmm. At least there are finally some enemies that working can double. Or once. Oh, also, to make this easier, you want to be able to heal them, and you want a rescue staff. Absolutely white. 
if you don't want to make this hard. Just get rid of anything that could be a threat. And just about anything is a threat here. Well, I'm being redundant, but still. Uh, yeah, I think Mirion's alright where he is. Hmm. These guys won't be too much of a problem for Krom. Uh, let's go ahead and save, and let's see if we can do this. Also, you can visit that very village to the east, and you'll get a blessed bow. You also get a little extra dialogue if you visit that village of Krom. I don't know if I'm going to get it or not, but we'll just see. And I'm just reminding you all, just in case I end up forgetting. Okay, keep an eye on you. Because that hurts. I think for the most part she'll be alright. Over here. The only issue I have with Rickon right now is that he's not gonna have enough health to survive a blow from a mercenary and a fighter with the with the fact that they have steel weapons. The fact that Deidre can't double it makes it worse. She can double the fighter, sure, but... Well, I guess it's not that big of a hassle. For now, I just want to focus on this guy and take him down. I think. Hmm. Take 15. Yeah, I reckon we'll probably still get smoked. Fire. That was kind of a waste. But oh well. Mirion kill Oh come on Fourteen freaking speed. Now let's see if we can get Enus' bow to work. Yep. Saying Enos, why I think it's clearly pronounced Ennis. But I've never exactly played FE8 or watched an exact let's play of it, so. I would not know. Oh, yeah, see? The villagers are these guys' obvious priority. That actually helps because Rickon won't be able to take him down with the rest of his health. So I know also I need to have Maribel out to heal. Probably ought to turn on the full danger zone too, so I know where everyone's gonna be able to attack. Because I believe if you save all three of them, you get a very useful item, but I think if even one dies, all you get is a log and a ladle. But if you save all three of them, you get a seraph robe. So it's five. So it's five free extra max health there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think right now we know our true terror of this guy's. Though then again, she is level 20, so I don't really have much of a right to say anything. She 
you're like a little ten or something, you'd probably be more of a feat. Well, it's like Rickon's not getting the kill. Actually, never mind. He's just a lower level. Not safe in that night. I'll have to rescue him over. Come over here. And for now, they're good. Yeah, that X guy's not, not gonna be the biggest hassle in the world. Let's go ahead and do this. Now, priority number one, heal. Heal the poor guy. Okay, Lance of Lay. Whoa, 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 dude. Are you trying to get yourself killed? Of course they, oh, wait, 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 I have an idea, I have an idea. Can she even reach, though? One, two, three, four, five, yeah, I think she can. Wait, no, but then I put it in, ah, so, oh, wait, hang on. Yeah, if I kill this guy, it'll be fine. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's quickly run over here. Okay, wait, that's water, so he might not actually land on it. Trade... Okay, yeah, he just goes to the side. Ah, come on! I blame you. No idea, no idea, no idea. Seven range of the rescue. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, come on. Also, if you hear a noise outside, that's the lawnmower. Look at resistance. Now we're good. I 
think it's a good idea to just wait it out. Ow. At least you're not going full in your enemy range this time. Ow. How do they make that sound? Well, I guess it's not that big of a hassle as long as it doesn't kill him outright. <sighs> you are supposed to be a support unit. How in the bleeding heck have you only gotten one resistance point through all of your level ups? <sighs> Freaking RG, screw it. Sorry to wow some spit. Okay, that'll work for now. Meanwhile, I want these two to go over here and help. Oh, she's not going into the range, the Annie. Oh, by the way, the boss has a silver lance and an, an elixir. So be careful. Block. Wait a minute, I didn't judge. She'll live, luckily. Try this, I guess. Let's go ahead and visit this village. Suburbs are always, wel always welcome here. Please take this with you. There are refugees here, and you turn them away. Why? We're a peaceful town, sir. We have no weapons, nor any want for them. We survive by barring our gates to those who might bring us harm, friend or foe. Harsh as it may be, I can't have my people dying on account of other folks' problems. What? A jerk. That's your reason. Bunch of no good. Ow! Just lucky that fighter wasn't in range, because he's got a steel axe. Okay, got some health. No oh boy, looks like I gotta keep an eye on that soldier now. Dude, stop getting in range! Ah, son of a... Wait, does Nana still have... Yes, she does. You, get over here and stay over here. You're mine.
trying to weaken these guys so we can get levels. She's lost heal. Nine percent. Say night. Okay, sword level B, not bad. So I'm guessing their priority is the villagers. Okay, Virion can't double. I think Virion can, I mean, Rickon can do enough with wind. But I'd rather be safe, so I'll just go ahead and use the longbow. This will work. And hopefully this will work. gonna sting if it misses. Just to re-equip her for the heck of it. Besides, if you survive, you probably would have used the elixir anyway. Good level up, good level up. Stop skipping speed and defenses! That's really driving me up the wall. I'm not the worst, thank you, nor the treasure to pay you, but here, take this. I didn't think people like you still existed. I'll, I'll never forget you. Or, no, I'll never forget this. Blah! Can I talk? Do you suppose the village will continue to bar its gates to refugees? As long as they need the risk of someone else's problem, then yes. They claim to love peace, yet the uneasy peace found behind the barricade is nothing I'd want. Peace begins when the fighting is over and the barricades come down. I pray they can see the truth of that before it's too late. They probably won't, anyway. Seraph robe and then log in my ill for jokes. Kicks and giggles. Okay, and we did get supports. What are you doing, Lissa? Combat training? What? I fight too, you know! Is this because of what I said before? You really don't have to do this. Yes, Rickon, I do! I can't expect other people to protect me all the time! We're at war! Unexpected things happen! I need to be ready to do what is necessary! But listen, that's my job! Protecting you, I mean. Being on the front lines means being in danger, and I don't want to see you get hurt. You think I don't feel the same about you? About Krom? About everyone? No, but... You don't get to bear this... Well, uh, Rickon, it's totally unfair! Well, I almost said Rowan. Unless I only... You're right, I'm sorry. We're all in this together, no matter what. The power of friendship! Anyway, in the next episode, we'll move on straight to the plot, so I'll see you guys then.